Now that we've created a simple template to use for creating a projection mapping show, it's time to create our first simple display for your home, and it should only take you a few short minutes. For this tutorial we will be using a home facade based on our map file that has been generated in the Photo Leap app. There is a link in the description that will take you to a simple tutorial on how to generate facades using Photo Leap. While the layout in the app has changed from when that tutorial was created, the process remains the same. Once you have your facade, and have copied it to your computer, you are ready to create a display for your home. With Resolve open, let's save all the progress we've made so far so we don't have to perform this work all over again. From the top menu, select File, and then, Export Project. Find or create a memorable file path for your exports. Then, name your template, House Masking Template. Note that for this tutorial, I will be saving mine as Quick Display because I don't want to overwrite my existing template. You should still save yours as House Masking Template. Next, choose File, then select Project Manager from the menu. With the Project Manager open, right-click anywhere and select Import Project. Select the project file you just exported. Then rename your project to something descriptive of your display. Once available, open your project. You can see we have an exact duplicate of the previous template we were working on. But any changes we make here will not affect our original project. For this display, I'll be creating a gingerbread theme using the newest Atmos FX digital decoration, in addition to my Photo Leap generated facade. Altogether, the videos in the collection that I intend to use total up to about 9 minutes. So let's extend our timeline way out. We can always trim off the excess later. Next, let's combine our Atmos clips into one singular video. Right click in the media pool, select timelines, and then select new timeline. Name this timeline, Workbench. Having a workbench gives you space to modify your digital decorations or create your own effects, independent of your projection show. Let's import the video clips we intend to use for our facade by dragging them into the media pool. If we inspect the videos in this collection using the metadata menu, we can see these videos run at a frame rate of 30 frames per second. Recall from the settings video in this series that we created our project to run at 29.97 frames per second. It's a minor difference, but by creating a single video of these clips, we will also convert them down to run at the same frame rate as our project. Drag each clip onto the edit page timeline in your preferred order. If we wanted to apply additional effects to these we could. But for the purposes of keeping this simple, we will just export these as is. Click on the Deliver tab located here. Name your compilation video whatever you desire. Select the file path location to store your video. Choose your preferred format, the most common being QuickTime or MP4. Note that the output frame rate matches what my project frame rate is. There are plenty of advanced options we can configure, but for our purposes they aren't really needed at this moment. Select Add to Render Queue, then choose Render All. When your render is complete, right-click on it, and choose Open File Location. Head back to the Edit page, then, import your compilation video into the media pool. Using this drop arrow here, select the House Mask Timeline to return to your planned projection show. Let's add the audio from the combined version onto this timeline. Simply double-click that file in the media pool. Hover your mouse over this icon, then click and drag down to your audio track and bring that all the way to the left of the timeline. Move your playhead to the end of the audio track, then drag the end of your video track to the left in order to line it up. This will remove the excess we don't need. Now, let's open our house mask in Fusion. Here we have the Fusion tree we built in the previous video. We will be adding both the facade and the video to this upper limb of the tree. So let's move the background node over a bit to give us some space. Select your Photo Leap AI generated facade from the media pool and drag it down onto the node's pane. Select the background node that anchors the tree limb and then add a merge node from the toolbar. Now connect your media node to the merge node. You can see that my facade doesn't line up correctly. This is because Photo Leap generated it at a different resolution than what my map file was. This can be easily fixed though. Select the media node, then click on the transform node from the toolbar. This will add a transform that is already connected between the media and merge nodes. 
In order to align this with the map file, we will need to perform a few steps. First, select the merge node on the limb. Then within the inspector, reduce the blend property using the slider down to about 0.5. This way we will still be able to see enough of the facade, but still be able to align it with the map. We also need to make the background anchor node transparent. Select it, and in the inspector change the color back to black. Then reduce the alpha property all the way to zero. In order to turn the mapping file back on, select the merge node on the main trunk that it is connected to, and then enable it within the inspector by clicking on this slider. Now we can resize the generated facade. Select the transform node it is connected to, and using the inspector, reduce the size. If you click and hold your mouse button down on top of the size value, you can make finer tuned adjustments by moving your mouse left and right. Line up your facade with your mapping lines as best you can. Adjust the blend value of the merge node if needed. Lining up the windows and trim of your facade and map are the best ways to get everything lined up. Zoom into the preview pane if you need to in order to get a better look at the lines to ensure they are overlapping correctly. When you're happy with the alignment, select the merge node for your facade, then turn the blend value back to 1. Don't forget to disable your map file if you no longer need it. We are just about done here, all that's left is to add the compilation video. Select the merge node on the tree limb, then add a new merge from the toolbar. Bring down your compilation video onto the node's pane underneath the merge. This time we will not be using a transform node to fit this to the house. The photo leap facade was generated based on the map lines, which also gave us a built-in skew from the projector's point of view. Our compilation video will not have any built-in perspective changes to it, so we will need to add that in using a corner positioner node. Select the media node for the compilation video, then hold down the control key on your keyboard and hit the space bar. This will bring up a search menu. Search for corner, and you should see the corner positioner as an option. Select it and choose add. All we have to do now is align each of the four points to each corner of the garage. Zoom in if you have to in order to make proper adjustments. If you don't have a wide garage like this one, you can do the following to get yours to fit. With the media node selected, open the search menu with Ctrl plus C. Search for Crop and select it. Select Crop and then on your keyboard, hit the number 1 to bring it into one of the preview panes. If you only have one preview open, you can click on this icon to get two panes back. Using the inspector, crop the image using the X or Y size values. If it's easier for you, just make it a square by changing entering the same number for the X and Y values. Use the X and Y offsets to center the characters within the cropped image. Finally, use the corner pins from the corner positioner to place it over your garage. You will probably have to make further adjustments to the crop and corner pin nodes to get the perfect fit. In future tutorials, we will be covering how to create a perspective filter for your home that will eliminate the need for this. If you want to get something displayed quickly though, this will work in a pinch. If your garage door has a unique shape that you need to mask, use the polygon node from the tool menu and create a mask in the shape of your garage door. Then connect it to the blue arrow of the merge node that your video is connected to. Of course, this looks awful, but you get the idea. Once you feel you've aligned everything correctly, return to the edit page and scrub through the timeline to ensure both the video and audio are aligning correctly. If everything looks good, open the delivery page. Change the name of your file, then render it out into a format that your media player will be able to handle. This is probably the easiest display I could show you how to build. Altogether, including render times, this took about 10 minutes to put together, thanks to the AI-generated facade taking care of a lot of the decorating and details for us. That said, there is a lot more to learn if we want to tackle more advanced, theme shows down the road. So I'd encourage you to subscribe to this channel and follow along during the off-season for more tutorials on how you can use Resolve to build your own home projection shows.